Hello, I hope you're doing swell and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, my name is Alexis. I would love it if you stuck around. So if you know me behind the screen, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you all do not know me behind the screen, but in real life, I just love cartoons. My top two being King the Hill as well as Rick and Morty. So I thought for today, we'll start this brand new series on my channel where we will recreate the King of the Hill cast. You probably see their picture on the screen. We have Bobby, Hank, Peggy, Luann, as well as Lady Bird. So we're gonna recreate all of them for today. I know Luann eventually gets married later on in the seasons and then she moves out. But for the sake of today's video, I'm gonna add her to this household and we're gonna recreate her as well. So we're gonna be using all the packs that I currently have. We're not gonna be using any CC because that's like the fun challenge of it to see how accurate we can make each of the characters in The Sims 4. So I think that I want to start off with Peggy Hill. Um, I think she's just iconic. She is so witty and she's so funny. So we're going to start off with Peggy Hill first. And I actually have a picture right here. So if I'm looking down, I'm looking at the picture to make sure I have all the references correct. But Peggy is an adult. So we're going to change that up. And she has kind of like high cheekbones and a very narrow jaw. And she is very fair skinned. I always say like something like this. And I am going to remove all of this stuff, like her makeup and stuff. But let me go to the faces and see if we can find something that's a little bit similar to what Peggy looks like. And Peggy has very thin eyebrows. Not that thin, but they are pretty thin. Like something like this and they are brown. She has dark brown hair. So we're gonna match her eyebrows to her hair, but well, she's bald headed right now. Um, but we're gonna match her eyebrows to her hair. So I'm just gonna find some regular almond shaped eyes to kind of fit a little bit. Okay, yeah, we'll do something like this. And I don't know what eye color is, but it looks like everyone has black eyes. She doesn't wear any earrings, at least on this picture. I don't think I remember seeing any of them with the earrings on but I am gonna put some facial details on her as well. So like I said, she has kind of like a square off chin and I think we have something similar in The Sims and then she has very high cheekbones. Maybe something along that nature and I'm gonna make her neck a little bit bigger too. And her ears are very tiny and we're just gonna pull those in. And then for her nose, she has a pretty strong nose maybe something like this and then for her lips she has pretty thin lips so we can do something like that and i want to look in the skin details to see if there was like any uh, like laugh marks and stuff along those lines that we can add over to peggy maybe something like this just to show a little bit older it'll look better once we have some makeup and stuff on her then I'm gonna find some brown hair. And we have to find like a, a bouffant type of hairstyle. And I don't know if we have anything like that currently in The Sims. We have this, which could technically work. And this looks nothing like Peggy as I'm looking at her. So we're gonna have to go back into cast and re redo it. But that might be the best hairstyle because that is not it. We'll do that. And then I think I need to put some glasses on her because it's not looking like Peggy without these glasses on and they are kind of like this but they are a bigger rim they're like a big square something like this and they are in the black color and then she has some red lipstick on which will also add to her that red kind of matches like this oh no yeah we're gonna have to go in and edit her face some more with the makeup but i'm thinking all of these might be a little too dark for peggy so we won't do any of that Maybe we can do a little bit of eyeliner, like something like this. And then we'll put some little blush on, something like that. That could work. She doesn't look like Peggy though. Sorry, Peggy. I'm going to have to take your clothes off. And you don't have tattoos either. She does have big feet. You remember that in that episode? So we have to give her big feet, which is nothing wrong with that. This is going to be so hard. I thought this was going to be like easy. Something like that. The nose is what's getting me, cause it's not, she always has like a little smile, but I think you need to move that down. And her nose is like pointed, but it's strong. Maybe something like this. We can point it out a little bit more. 
And I think I need to find some more skin details that will make her look a little bit older. Maybe something like that. And pull her eyebrows up. They kind of show like right underneath her glasses, but I think, think that would look the best. Make her neck a little bit bigger and her shoulders a little bit more wide. And I'm gonna add some little like studs just because. Okay, I think that's as good as we're gonna get right now with Peggy's face. I'm gonna have to go in and manipulate it in a second, but she wears this like neon green top and then she wears some blue cargo pants. We have a top that's kind of similar. We need more of like a, a T-strap like this. I wish the straps were just a tiny bit thicker like this. Oh, I need like a lighter green. Let's go ahead and do that. And then she has blue pants on, like blue shorts. They're like cargo shorts, skin tight jeans, maybe cropped would be the best bet. Something like, <laughs> something like that, honestly is what she wears. I mean, we can pull off this denim, but that's, I think this looks more like it. Something like that. Yeah, it's those. Very, very cute line. And I don't know what color shoes she wears. Let me see. She just wears some like little blue loafers. Yeah, there's something like this. You have to remember this show is super old. So the fashion sense is not always um, there. I just wish this shirt, like the pants tucked in or something, where we can like have a belt because she does wear a belt. I mean, something like this looks a little bit better. I think I need to put like some forehead wrinkles or something, like just a few to make her look a little bit older. Cause to me, she doesn't look older whatsoever. She looks like a young adult still, but she does wear a ring, her and Hank do. And I wanna say hers is also a gold band. So we'll stick that gold band on her. Now she thinks that she's like a dollar sim, I wanna say. Or maybe like a renaissance sim, to be honest. Cause she has a lot of skills and quite a few things, but knowledge is probably the best one. So academic, um, she is cheerful for sure. I'm gonna say ambitious as well. That is Peggy Hill <laughs> to the best of my ability. Let's go in with Hank Hill. This is gonna be, I thought Peggy was gonna be hard. I think Hank is gonna be really hard. Watch me like edit this and I'm like, oh my gosh, why did I even put this out? These look nothing like the characters, but I can always go back through. I can always go back in and we can always do this again. This is the first series, the first part of it. It's not gonna be perfect the first time. Let's look at face shapes. Hank has a very like rectangular face. And I don't know if I can find that. Maybe like this, that's more like chiseled, but that might be a good base. So let's go there. He's also that, yeah, this white. And he has the same type of glasses that Peggy has, but they're black too. And he has very like these type of eyebrows, like those. And he's brown hair as well, but his is a little bit lighter. He does have some forehead wrinkles which will make him look a little bit older which is what we need and then he has hollow cheekbones so i might go in and like can i hollow those out some yes <laughs> i'm sorry i made that guttural sound but look that is what we needed and he has like really thin lips he's looking more like um more like an ogre <laughs> More like more than like Hank Hill, but that's okay. We're working with what we got. He has short brown hair. Definitely not with the fade on the side. Oh, not too close, okay. So Hank has really little arms, but he's got a little beer belly because he's sitting outside with his friends all day drinking, a little after work and stuff. And if his, I'm gonna make his waist just a little bit bigger. You remember Hank doesn't have a butt. Remember that episode where he lost his butt So he ain't got no butt. Um, white t-shirt, very simple. We're gonna go in with just a white t-shirt. There we go, just a white t-shirt, okay? And then he has blue jeans. They're just like work, oh, not those. They're just like workman pants, but he also has some like this, but if the belt wasn't all cute, those are like a shade off. Yeah, they don't come in any lighter colors. Like this, they're like blue jeans. That could work. 
and we can say that that's like a Texas symbol belt. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do those. We're gonna throw a ring on him. He's gonna have some white socks and then he wears brown boots. Something like those. They come in a shade lighter. No. Ooh, wait, no, some Tims. He would wear those. That works. He's just not looking old enough for me. Like, Hank reminds me of a dad. This dude looks young. Can we pass that off as Hank? And this is Peggy? I had good intentions. I had really good intentions coming into this. But you can't tell. Looks like I was trying to troll them, but I wasn't. He's like kind of family oriented. He is location oriented too. I think our best bet, cause he is very like hands on, is to do the maker aspiration. He is a dog lover. Yes, Hank, you're a dog lover. He is very like to the point. So yes. And let's figure out a walk for him. Yeah, something like this. Let's, hey, uh, Peggy's. That's her husband. And then her walk. Something like that, yeah. Let's go to Sweet Bobby. Can I do like, maybe a sim that looks like them? Like genetics? These don't look like Bobby. It also just looks like the same kid in different font. So this is our sweet boy, Bobby Hill. <laughs> okay, Bobby. Um. Let's do your little face. He has a very round face. So let's actually take his hair off. And he has very thin eyebrows as well. And they are blonde. Maybe like this blonde. Oh, we don't have many eyebrows to choose from anyway for kiddos. Maybe something like this. He's always smiling. He has a very round face. Can I just make everything kind of round? Okay, so Bobby, Bobby has no hair. But I want to give him like a little bit of like a buzz cut if I have one. Yeah, like this. Because he has like faint hair that you can kind of see. Maybe we'll do it like in this cheese color. And our boy is a little round, which is okay. I don't think, yeah, I can't manipulate his body shape anymore. So we're just going to do it to the biggest like size. And he has on a blue like t-shirt. Like this, it's like more of a navy blue. Almost like a gray, like a gray blue. And then he wears little green pants. Green, like cropped shorts. Something like that, but not with the leggings underneath. And those don't kind of work out either. I think we might just have to do those. I don't have many options, as you can tell. I think Bobby wears knee highs, he does. So socks. He wears like white knee highs. Such a strange kid Bobby is. <laughs> and then he wears like little black converse. That's about it, Bobby. That looks nothing like, I didn't mean to make his head that big. Hold on, hold on Bobby, I'm sorry. But that kind of works. Why does it work? I just want it to be like a little, like a little full face. I think that's the best we can do for Bobby. Y'all, he's a social butterfly, our Bobby is. Um, and, He's just a sweet boy, cheerful. I would say cheerful, a goofball he is too. He's very self-assured. Let's do that one because Bobby is very self-assured in himself. And last but not least, that is not Luann. Lou, oops. Luann's last name is Platter. So I think I need to change this. And Luann has a very like, can I make this? I can't make, I just make him like a, I know she's not her mom, but for the sake of the thing, I want them to be like related in some way. So I'm just gonna say mom, it's her auntie, basically the same thing. That's Luann. Okay, so Luann also has a very like round face. I think this sim, yeah, maybe not that. Something like this. And Luann is always smiling as well. I don't think her lips are that plump. Yeah, something like this. And she is a little bit tanner than them. Ooh, like this. And she has, they don't really wear too much eye makeup. Something like this. And Luann also has dark eyes from what you can tell back here. Looks like she just wears like a little bit of blush. Maybe not that one. I want one that's kind of further down and we'll do some pinky. That one's too bright too. Yeah, something like this. And Luann has blonde hair. It's almost like that cheese blonde. So we'll do that. And she also has fairly thin eyebrows as well. That was just the style back in the day. So I think I want them to be a little bit softer. So something like this. Then I'm also gonna just throw on some little lip gloss for Luann as well. We'll just do that little glossy color. And then for Luann, she has very big cheese hair. It's long and she has it kind of like up and down and it's fairly curly, like almost like this, but it's clipped up. Almost like this, 
but without the braid. So we have to keep that one in the back of our head because that one might be it. Or this. I just need to be like bigger at the top. Yeah, something like that. That's it. <laughs> so let's go to green. And she definitely has a green like crop top on. Something like this. But it's almost like a, a hot, like one of these. But I need it in like a green, green color. Like that could kind of work. It's more of like a tank, like this. So maybe we'll just use this. And she wears some hot red like Bermuda pants. Like this. <laughs> They're like shorts though. So something like this, to be honest. Ooh, or we can do that. These look the most accurate though, but I like these more. Let's look through the shorts. It's honestly these. Then she has like little white socks on and then she has like white tennis shoes. So Lou Ann is like creative. She likes to do hair and cosmetology. We don't have anything like that, but we can make her like a painter because that kind of fulfills that creativity aspect. She's a very cheerful, very cheerful. Um, She's also clumsy and she's like aloof too, but I don't think that's a trait. There we go, Luann. And then last but not least, we gotta make Ladybird. I don't know what type of dog Ladybird is. She's not a poodle. She's almost like a, like one of these. Not a lab. This, that looks like Ladybird. Ladybird is pretty skinny and she has a very like thin tail. I don't think, yeah, I think all of these dogs have. So she's pretty much brown all over. So I'm just gonna do like, Maybe like these shades. She's like an auburn color. Okay, Ladybird is not active. She is stubborn. <laughs> um, she's a couch potato and she's loyal. There goes Ladybird. What a good girl. And Ladybird is pretty old, but I'm just gonna say that she's like a adult type of dog. This is the heel family household like remixed don't judge it's my first time doing it you know it's gonna be better the more we do it the more we're working with the sims this is what i have this is peggy hill we have hank hill we have bobby hill we have luann platter and then we also have ladybird so i hope you enjoyed this video if you did make sure those fun things like give it a big old like and subscribe down below if you haven't already as well as press that notification button so you can be notified each and every time that i post i hope you like this series i'm gonna continue doing it and we're just gonna learn as we go it's fun because we do have limitations being in the sims and it's just fun to do something a little bit different so i hope you enjoyed hope you're doing swell and i will see you very soon. Bye!